Again, Ukraine follows European tradition and spent 9th of May not as holiday of victory, but as a day of mourning and honoring fallen soldiers during the Second World War. The situation at the occupied territory is quite different. Pro-Russian militants organized parades with participation of military equipment that was delivered from Russian Federation. In the morning of 9th of May, President of Ukraine Petro Poroshenko, along with veterans and high officials, put flowers to the memorial of unknown soldier. Also, the participants of anti-terrorist operation joined the commemoration of fallen warriors during the Second World War. After together with the president, ATO chaplains prayed for peace and victory at the Vladimir Hill in Kyiv. We are here on the day of the Nazism. We have gathered here on the day of the victory over Nazism, and yesterday I had an honor to meet with representatives of several generations of defenders of our homeland, and I was surprised to see a very touching moment when the military caps were exchanged between the veterans of Red Army, Ukrainian Insurgent Army and the member of anti-terrorist operation. Thank you for this incredible sense of unity of the country. From the early morning, people started gathering on the square near Arsenal Metro station, as from here were planned two processions. The first one was organized by Capital's Organization of Veterans. On their invitation, merely came the elderly, those who personally participated in World War II. This day is a sacred day. On this day, people were crying in 45th. I then served in the army. And when the war was over, people were crying because they were impossibly exhausted for these four years. On the day of victory of an assassin, people commemorated the fallen. They say for the victory, a great price was paid, over 25 million people's lives. It is a victory and the memory of the victims. So how could it be compared? It is somewhere in the middle, I guess. For the one hand, we should rejoice. On the other, we need to remember the fallen. The second organization that also gathered people is the Immortal Regiment. This union is Russian, and in Ukraine they held the event for the first time. People were encouraged to bring portraits of their relatives and friends who fought during the Second World War. On the invitation of Russian organization, also turned out a lot of volunteers. This is a victory of our fathers and our grandfathers. We came here with the solemn mood. He went into 37th year and came back in 46. We came to express deep respect to our veterans and low bow to them. That is why we came here. The end point of the march was the memorial of eternal glory in Kiev. People came here from different parts of Kiev. The veterans, as well as other people, came as flowers to honor those who have died during the Second World War. But the commemoration did not go without small provocations. Near 10 young men tried to prevent people with Soviet symbols from laying flowers. But they were surrounded and sent outside the park. Two of them were detained, as Kiev police reported. Nevertheless, minor clashes took place also in other Ukrainian regions. In Kharkiv, while laying flowers at the Memorial of Glory, a clash started. Several young men ran up to one of the local MPs who led a column of the red flags and tried to tear off St. George's ribbon from the jacket. And from the people in the march column, they take away flags. The policemen got involved, one of whom got his face beaten. In addition, three activists were injured. They got assistance on the spot. No one was detained. And this is Mykolaiv. Activists of patriotic organizations met several people with red flags. At first they asked to remove the flags, then began to take them away. As a result of the fight, one woman got injured, the police said. And in Slavyansk powered brilliant green on MP Natalia Karolevska. During the solemn procession, young men in camouflage threw to her eggs sprinkled with flour, and before Karolevska guard pushed the young man, they still managed to sling the green on the deputy. And on the field of Mars in Lviv, the victory day passed without provocations. But near the center of the city, radical youth attempted to demolish the monument to the Soviet writer Stepan Tudor. Police prevented them. According to the press service of the patrol police, one of the participants was detained as he held a gun. Two security forces were injured during the fight. Meanwhile, in the occupied Donetsk and Luhansk, militants held their own military parade dedicated to the 9th of May. Through the cities went dozens of pieces of military equipment, renovated and modern tanks, howitzers, armored personnel carriers and grads.
Then thousands of people with portraits of the fallen soldiers of the Second World War took to the streets. Parade of heavy weapons in Donetsk and Luhansk near the contact line was a violation of the Minsk agreements, as it was stated by the OSCE monitoring mission on its Facebook page. According to the Ukrainian intelligence, the parade on temporarily occupied territories was prepared by the military regiment of the Kremlin.